A Hitmonlee. A fucking Shitmonlee. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. Our team is, uh, pretty fucked up. Yes it is. Eevee has, uh, gone to meet Arceus, I suppose. I've shaved my head in honor of my little Eevee to show my, my true pain. It's not a good feeling, I'll say that. I kind of just wanted to be like, well, fuck it. What's even the point of the Nuzlocke now? But we could find another Eevee in the grass and, uh, I don't know. I won't restrict myself from catching it if I do find one. Like, Species Claws isn't really a thing because it's random, but if I happen to find an Eevee, I suppose I'll do it. Ah, and we fucked up the Elekid on this route, which is not good either, but there's a Pokeball. Maybe something we could sell. No, just skill swap. Really weird TM. Um, who's in the lead right now? We got Mr. Freeze! Yeah, he's good. You're good, brah. Let's go fight this hiker. What up, ho? I just got down from Mount Moon, but I still got gas in the tank. Did you eat beans? Pork and beans, Hiker Franklin? He sends out a Jigglypuff. That's alright. It's squishy. You'll like meeting Mr. Freeze. Okay, we're already faster. But Icy Wind can't hurt. We're already seven levels over this thing. <laughs> our, our pokes are super over leveled, but... That's good, it means nobody else is gonna die, at least for a little bit. Should go down a little ways, um, towards Vermilion, and maybe we could, um, catch a new poke on that route. I'm not sure what the route is. Actually, there's a couple routes down that way, I believe. Why not? God, I hate this thing. Just gotta fake it out with Icy Wind. I think it hits special side, and he's gonna counter, maybe, I hope. If not, then we're pretty fucked. Oh my god. The moment of truth! Safeguard, Oh, If he fucking used Mirror Coat, done. Over. I probably just should have bit him to begin with, and maybe it would have one-hit KO'd. Ugh! Suspense. Even though nothing happened, like, we totally won that battle, but... Because why not could really fuck me up. As we saw in the rival, the rival fight. Um, I think this is still the same route. Where's my shit? 25. Oh, it is different. So could we catch a Pokemon in that grass? Or is there no grass on Route 25? What am I understanding here? Yeah, okay. So we could catch a Pokemon in that grass. Sweet! Although I don't know if I'll be too overleveled. <laughs> Dawn Fan! Oh, I want it. Oh, it's so bad. Do we got tackle? Headbutt? No. Bite? I'm kind of scared. He's got a lot of defense, but we're also like supremely overleveled. I'll switch into Clam Slam because I know he's got tackle, which shouldn't hit it too hard. I don't want to kill it. You must join us, friendly Donfin. You won't be weak to fighting. Oh yeah, Clam Slam got Aurora Beam as well. We did some uh, extra leveling from last episode, I believe. In in spite of the death of Eevee. Or perhaps because of the epi death of Eevee. Oh, he's growling us down pretty good. That sucks. But also kind of good because we can just whittle away. And even if I get a critical hit, it's not going to do that much if my attack is obliterated. So that's just fine with me. I'll I'll take it slow. Take it slow. Take it slow. <laughs> oh my god, idea for parody. Alright, you'll see that at some point. Holy shit, critical hit. Thank god. Alright. So we should uh, start throwing our balls at him, I suppose. Come on, buddy! Oh fuck, we don't have any Pokeballs. God damn shit, I forgot. Oh well, we fucked it up. I can't believe it. Head desk, 
of head desks. But, you make the rules, you gotta stick by them. It's not like I'm gonna change it and be like, oh, let me go get Pokeballs, and then... Nope. That's what we did for the first part of the game, because we couldn't buy them. But now you can buy them, and you just forgot. So you must pay the price. Fuck. <laughs> Crap and shit and butt dicks. Everywhere. Well, there's a Mart, so let's... Let's load up before we forget again. Damn, damn, damn! Can I sell you something? Will you buy stuff? Mystic water? 50 poke. 100. Ugh, 250. Big pearl! Yay! I forgot that I had the fucking pearl and the nugget from Nugget Bridge. So now we're up to 18,070 poke. Which I think might be hidden by my my stupid face. <laughs> but I'm gonna spend some of it and uh, try and keep in mind to, to tell you guys how much money I actually had left instead of editing my whole layout and shit. Because I, I think we got a good thing going. Dude, I could buy so many. How many? All of them? No, we'll buy 20. That's good. So obviously 14,000 left. They got super potions. Oh! Super Potion! Alright, I get 10 of those. Yeah, that'll do. And now we've got 7,070 Poke. Uh, do I have Antidotes? I have three in my bag. Paralyze Heal. Get, uh... I get one, because I can just run to the Pokemon Center. And an Awakening. Just in case. And a Burn Heal. Ooh, escape ropes would be good, too. Yeah, let's get some escape ropes. And I don't really bother with repels, generally. That's too many ropes. Maybe five. Alright. So, uh, I blew my load right there, down to 3,620 poke. But, that's alright. We're in a pretty good position now. That lady's in the, in the way. What do you say, youngster? You're a trainer too? Collecting, battling, it's a tough life, isn't it? Yeah, living out on the road with your Pokemans. Not knowing where your next meal's coming from if you keep losing because you only got a Pidgey. People here were robbed. It's obvious Team Rocket is behind this heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the Rockets. Well, get better Pokemon. I don't know what to tell you, really. So, back to Route 25 where we can't catch a fucking Poke. I can't go down and catch one on the other route either, so. Here we go, a little more battling. Local traders come here to practice. Well, I'm not a local. I'm here to stomp all the fools who come here to practice. Looks like Joey sent out a ghastly. That is quite terrifying. But also, I have bite on fucking Mr. Freeze, so. Get out of here! Go on! Get! We're just gonna fucking steamroll this whole area because I'm so overleveled. Ooh, Hitmonchan. My fear of fears. Yeah, everybody's weak except for Clam Slam. Shit. Would have been so good to catch that Donfin. His defense is so high, he's already fully evolved. Ah! <laughs> it's not going well. Comet Punch. This can hit two to five times. He only hits two times. Aurora Beam, I think, wasn't the right choice because um, he has a pretty high special defense as compared to his physical defense, Hitmonchan. Um, so yeah, he's pretty good with like a bulk up set, which increases your attack and defense. I really like using Hitmonchan. He's got Iron Fist and all kinds of nasty shit. Yeah, I like that. Fuck, man. I'm gonna withdraw. Withdraw up. And then I'll hit him with a fucking healing potion, because, because, Jesus Christ, this thing's out to get me, but I think I should have Roar Beam, it did more damage than Icicle Spear, however, I can't do shit until, uh, I heal up just a little bit, moo moo milk, moo moo, nice, alright, that's a lot of money, like 400 poke for one fucking super potion. Uh, my wallet, it am hurt. But it's alright, gotta keep doing the thing. 
I don't know how it's gonna work in the Safari Zone when you're supposed to find the Warden's Gold Teeth. That's one of the reasons I said a couple episodes back, like, I might have to hack something. Because uh, somebody mentioned in the PM, they're like, don't hack, bro! And it's like, oh, well, I don't. <laughs> I'm not, like, logging in and leveling, leveling up my Pokemon um, on some emulate, like, editor or something. I just need to do it for the golden teeth, I think, because the items are randomized. Unless that's already, like, within the program that, hey, they need to pick up these gold teeth in the Safari Zone, so don't change that one item. But that doesn't seem extremely likely to me, so... We'll see when we come to it, if we even get that far. Um, you know, I have four pokes. I'm not a superstar, apparently. But it's alright. We're gonna keep it going. You going to see Bill? First, we battle. Whoa, bro. Your voice got really deep. <laughs> Hiker Wayne! Dwayne the bathtub, I'm drowning. Alright. Vaporeon, pretty good special D and defense, but we'll break it down. I'm faster, see if we can flinch it or some shit. And yeah, he's he's hitting me pretty good. Maybe Headbutt will do more. Yep. That's good. So if they're not a ghost type, let's Headbutt that shit. And uh, Icy Wind will be weak against a water type. I hate Vaporeon. I did a Pokemon Online random battle where there was a Vaporeon that basically shut down half my team from just like <laughs> stall tactics. Wish, protect, toxic scald. It's like, ugh. How do you, how do you beat it? Just like that with your fucking head. Yeah, trick! <laughs> You're something. You're a hiker with a water Pokemon. You make me feel awkward. I gotta go. Hey, bro! Dad took me to a great party on the SSN at Vermilion City. Wow. You, uh, you're a rich little preppy youngster, huh? I'm gonna show you a lesson in the real world. Beat that ass hard. Swablu. Oh, I feel so bad. But not really. Your dad will buy you a new one. I see wind! Is it super effective? I thought it wasn't super effective before. Okay. There we go. I was thinking of something completely different. Or imaginative, or not real at all. <laughs> Probably the latter! Oh, we're stomping this place out pretty good. Hi, my boyfriend's cool! Bitch. <laughs> I don't want to hear about your boyfriend. I don't give a shit, really. I'm here to take your money. Polly Toad and Mr. Freeze. What up, little Polly Toad? You wanna get bit in the face? Oh, wait. If he's not a ghost, use headbutt. <laughs> I say that like two minutes ago? How oh, sad! Headbutt. Yeah. It just works way better. The power is so much more. And double slap's not gonna do that much. Cause Mr. Freeze is a fucking boss. Just look at him. He's hungry. Hungry for blood! <laughs> Alright. He's got an Anorif. I will use... I don't know. I guess Elvis. Elvis has a rock move, right? Is it a rock bug? So will the rock negate the rock part? Or is it the ground part that negates... See, this is why I need fucking charts and shit. I think the ground negates rock, so it's gonna be super effective, yeah. Ah, <sighs> Pokemon, you are such a strange creature. But I love you so! My conditioning isn't the best. No. It isn't. <laughs> I'll just be frank with you, ma'am. I want to get that guy to come out so I don't have to cut that bush down. I'm off to see a Pokemac Pokemaniacs collection at the Cape. Well, you're not doing a very good job at progressing, are you, Hiker Knob? Knob. Oh, shit. A Hitmonlee. A fucking Shitmonlee. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess Clam Slam can come back out here, because everything else is just gonna get wrecked by, like, a fucking jump kick or some shit like that. Even Clam Slam isn't, like, the best to do this, apparently. Yeah, he took that rolling kick relatively well, but we're also extremely high-leveled, so... Oh fuck! Fucking meditate, you dick! Alright, we'll play the defense game, I suppose. Uh 
Okay, yep. Jesus Christ. I should heal. I should just heal and fire off some more Aurora Beams and fucking get this thing out of here. Because it's... It's not gonna turn out well. <laughs> if I just try and withdraw. He could get one fucking critical hit and then boom, it's over. So hopefully with my one withdrawal I'll be able to last his fucking meditate rolling kick fucking garbage crap. Aurora Beam! Alright, that does pretty good damage. And he missed. Thank fuck. Yes. Destroy him. No more hit. No more do. You die now. Damn it. Revenge with a plus two attack really fucking hurts. <laughs> Clamp Slam is in pain! I thought about doing a shift versus set. There is a ty uh, different type of battle in the options. So like the enemy trainer will just call up the next Pokemon instead of being like, hey, they're gonna use Charmeleon next. Um, and it really depends, I guess, on your preference, what you're looking for as far as difficulty. It would definitely be harder to fucking, like, you know, try and keep Clam Slam in here to face the Charmeleon or take the hit switching to Elvis. But, like, in the anime and shit, they're always, like, calling Pokemon out and shit. So, in that instant, wouldn't you have time to switch? You know, they can't grab your Pokemon once he's a beam of red energy. So, I don't know. That's some, some deep shit. Some shit deeper I'm, than I'm willing to get into at the moment. He's got a Gorbis. That shit's gonna wreck Elvis. I'll bring an Acorn, because he ain't seen much lately. Fucking Mr. Freeze has been doing all the work this episode, because he's just a fucking monster. He's already evolved and shit. Fake out! Ah, trick! <laughs> that is a pretty nice move, although it is only usable, like, not all of the time. Mega Kick! Fuck yeah! I'm glad your legs aren't as weak as your arms, Acorn. 495. Although the PP's super low on that shit. Oh my god, he's got a Nuzleaf too. Well. I think uh, Mr. Freeze could take care of it. Indeed. An Icy Wind is gonna really hurt that thing. And it'll be his last Pokemon, and then I'll, I think I'll call it, because we're, we're on the plus side of 15 minutes now. So, goodbye, Nuzleaf. It's super effective! Yes, it is! <laughs> awesome! I don't think I even need to go to the Pokemon Center and shit. Goodbye, Hykonob. You got- you done got me, and real good, too. I done did. So, friends, this has been Pokemon Fire Red. Super randomized Nuzlocke awesomeness. We'll fight that guy in the next episode. <laughs> I hope you'll join me for it, friends. And if you did enjoy, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. Until the next time, friends. Bye-bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.